We set up a long-term uh, integrity program uh, together with Interpol because we recognize that match fixing is, to, is truly a global problem and is threatening football. And FIFA is there to protect football, so we went uh, to see uh, Interpol and uh, we set up a prevention program, a training program, awareness rising program for our members and we have a roadmap to go and we started in uh, Guatemala this month and uh, then uh, because it was requested we came to the southern African region because uh, we see the need to do so and we were very happy that uh, Kosafa and Safa were hosting the workshop. The workshop will conclude with recommendation, and the recommendation are to be forwarded then uh, within the responsibility of the national federations. So when you, as, if you like, it's the homework they have to do, and uh, of course FIFA and Interpol will assist them if requested, and then we will come together and see if uh, improvement has been made. FIFA will introduce a whistleblower system uh, by next month and we are seeking assistance from inside and outside the football community to get leads of uh, match fixes and corruption. And this is a system where we can um, communicate with uh, informants. It will be a system in uh, a lot of uh, different languages we are setting. FIFA is not going to finalize it. It is the responsibility of the South African Federation and the Zimbabwean Federation. Um, those uh, investigations, are, my experience, are really long-lasting. And uh, there are reasons for because you, you start with an allegation, you try to, to, to get more information on this, you will go to talk to a lot of people, you start your, your first interviews and then you are forwarding it to disciplinary committee, then uh, you have to go through a completely new process and then there will be made a sentence uh, and uh, this will take a long time and it will be even longer if you raise it then on a confederation level or on international level like FIFA. So I don't expect that FIFA will get uh, any uh, uh, sanction from the disciplinary committee within uh, South Africa or Zimbabwe within the couple of next months. So I think it will take even longer to come the results to, to, to. I love to see clear messages. FIFA established zero tolerance. Whenever we get known and it is within our jurisdiction, we would uh, ban them worldwide. We did it in the recent uh, two years. We did it uh, nearly 80 times. We have about 100 cases to come. So for me, this is a clear commitment and a clear signal that we are committed in the fight against match fixing and we would not accept it. It's not limited to one country or region. Um, match fixing has become, become a global threat and uh, it's something uh, sport entities can no longer deal with them on their own. You have two aspects. You have the investigation side that is in the authority of the, the national law enforcement um, agencies and then you have the, the preventive side uh, that is what we're trying to do with, the, with this program. I think the most important um, um, way to deal with this issue is, apart from the investigative uh, side, to uh, improve the prevention side. And uh, one way to do this is through training and uh, education. But uh, training and education, uh, we can do a certain amount of workshops and training sessions, uh, but at the end it becomes a national uh, responsibility. National uh, football associations have to break it down to, to the leagues, uh, to their young players, referees, whoever is in, uh, involved there. The most recent case basically started uh, as an eye-opener for the entire football community when Wilson Ray Paramal was arrested 2011 in, in, in Finland. And we were following his footsteps uh, nearly across the entire world. So this uh, led us to, uh, to Europe where it started. A lot of uh, association, football association were involved. We followed uh, him to the Americas region. Um, of course, uh, the Dan Tan Syndicate, who is uh, the mastermind behind uh, Perumal, is located in Asia. So there are strong leads to Asia. 
and as well uh, to, to Africa. He was seen here as well in the southern African region, as you all know. Therefore, this was an eye-opener. The threat is purely global for me, and uh, we have, uh, therefore, to fight this uh, on, a, on a global basis. And all the uh, football association and confederation have to be united in this fight, together with FIFA, because no one can alone fight organized crime.